Global Geeks, and here I am at the Intel booth at MWC, and I have the new Mary Field reference design in my hand. It's running the Intel Atom Z2480. So this is actually a dual core processor. This is our first LTE handset from Intel, and I like this shiny background. It is a fingerprint magnet, but it is more of a design statement than anything else. We have a, I believe this is actually a 12 megapixel camera on the back with a dual LED flash. Uh, it has the same features as what was available in a lot of the other Clover Trail devices, so you could do a lot of the um, best photo pick, and there was some other really cool stuff going on. So there's actually a GT Racing 2 on here. This is actually a 4.5 inch display. So what I really like about this, and I'm using this with my left hand, I am right-handed, but the, the problem with Intel devices for me in the past, if you look at the Zenfone series, was that they were too long. Even the 4.5 or the 5 inch, right? So like, let, let's just imagine, right, that this was a 5 inch. I can reach all the way up there for the notification bar on Android. And that's something that Intel hasn't had before in the past with their handset. So they were always a little bit long. And I always felt that that had to do with just their lack of experience with creating mobile SOCs. But that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. They definitely have a, a nice tight 4.5 inch device where the notification bar is like well, well, well in hand. So let's just take a walk around the system here. So we have a unknown switch, a mystery switch. <laughs> we have a volume rocker. Down here on the bottom, oh, sorry about that. Got a little excited for looking around. So down here around the bottom, we have the SD card and the micro SIM card slot. So we have USB 3 on the bottom, which is great. It is stereo speakers as well that you can see there. Although I do prefer seeing stereo speakers around either side, because it kind of feels like dual mono to me when you kind of see them down there. So around there, we have nothing else. Um, the weight of the device is extremely light. They couldn't give me any ex ex exact number because it is a reference design and um, yeah I would say I would put it a little I would probably put it at 145 maybe so I mean yeah like definitely not in the 130 range but it's definitely up, up there 145 range which I still think really acceptable for a Android device so let's just head into the settings over here and so there we can see oh, oh, maybe that's what this switch was it was a rotation lock so let me just flip that back up again. Let's just get that there. Mute hardware switch. Oh, interesting. Mute hardware switch on. So that definitely wasn't a rotation lock. Let me just pull that back around. All right, there we go. So we head down to the bottom. It is running KitKat. Very exciting to see. Very glad to see that. But there are some other interesting kind of, right, the performance on this is really good. Let's go back and forth to here. There's not, yeah, that's, that's okay. Yeah, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, Intel's cameras have always been quite good with their support. Uh, but you notice here there's also yeah, Intel's fitness IQ. So apparently they're going to be shipping some embedded fitness with their Clover Trail devices, which is good to see because all the smartphones are going in this direction. So if they didn't add that in, that actually would have been a problem for me because I, I like having fitness on my phone. All right, so here we have GT Racing 2, and I'm going to try to play this with one hand here, see if I can make this make this happen here. You know, you go, if you guys have watched my videos before, you know I'm a bad racer, let alone holding a camera and racing at the same time. Woo! So there, when you see I run into the side, there's lots of sparks, it handles that no problem. Let's see if we can put the brakes on, there we go. No, I'm, I'm losing, I'm losing, everyone's getting ahead. Oh well, but you can see the performance on this is totally not bad. So this is, this is Intel's, you know, they're coming up now, so this is definitely not a mid-range uh, CPU, but we'll see when we get into the benchmarks of this. But what I'm, what I'm most excited to see on this device is that they've, they've kind of taken care of the length, because that, that was one of my problems with Intel smartphones in the past, so that's good to see that they have kind of up the ante on that. So here's a look at the Intel Merryfield platform. I am Nicole Scott for Mobile Geeks.